Got a new show for y'all. It's going to be a damn good show, Keith. <laughs> yeah. But for a start show, remember, everybody, you can always support the twins by buying a patriotic item from our website. How much we going to give them off today, Keith? We're going to give you 20% off. You heard that? We're going to give you 20% off. Use discount code Delta when you check it out. Yeah. All right, we got Freedom of Choice back. Yeah. On? Brandon Burns founder. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and tell them about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Man, y'all play too much. <laughs> yeah, we back here. We back again. Yeah, no, we got it, a man. big protest coming up in oh, here. Yeah, big one. October 3rd. Yeah. October, October 3rd. 3rd. Where's yeah. that going to be located at? Las Vegas Strip, October 3rd. That's going to mm. be 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Starting at the Aria, going in front of the Bellagio, kind of like last time. So we, we're going to have a really big one this time around. Really good, good, good. Sounds good. And uh, I picked a great topic, freedom of choice. And is we have no freedom of choice whatsoever. Yeah, you have no freedom whatsoever. <laughs> Let's legalize. Let alone freedom. choice. You ain't got no freedom in, in Nevada right now, man. Right yeah, now. man. All right over now. the United States. And I came yeah. across this here in Las Vegas, this news story. Uh, bring it up, Chris. Yeah. DA says a vaccine for the youngest school kids could be ready by the end of the year. She claims. Pfizer hopes the approval is by Halloween. She ain't. Health leaders in she Clark County good. are already looking ahead. Too bad I'm married. Thousands of kids, the vaccine. Health officials are eager for the youngest children in school across America and Nevada to finally get the COVID-19 vaccine. FDA officials saying in a statement, children are not small adults and doses that are being studied for children ages 5 Man, to 11 would be different than those for adults. The former FDA commissioner, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, working with Pfizer. We could potentially have a vaccine available to children age 5 to 11 by Halloween. It's a prospect for which the Southern Nevada Health District is already preparing. After school vaccine clinics, weekend <laughs> clinics, and education for parents on the importance of having as many children in a classroom vaccinated. Vaccines will prevent COVID-19 cases right there. and also decrease that the instances crazy. of quarantines and the need for distance learning. It's a personal choice, uh, but we have seen um, literally 20,000 kids be hospitalized with this infection now. Um, I would uh, strongly recommend getting the vaccine. Dr. Fisher is the medical director of the Pediatric Emergency Department at UMC and says, though children are far less susceptible to COVID-19, they can spread the disease to adults and their families. So there's always some small, minute risk whenever you take an injection, but I think that the risks are much higher for uh, something bad to happen to your family if you don't get vaccinated. Well, did, did y'all hear that? It's not to protect the kids. It's to yeah. protect your family members. Yeah. That's so if sick. the family members want to get protected, you take the vaccine. End yeah. the discussion. And it's crazy. Let me ask a crazy, a crazy question. We don't know the long-term effects of that vaccine, and they're putting, they're trying to put that in kids as young as five years old. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Brandon. Stop looking at yeah, him. Man, I got a five-year-old right now, and that makes me sick. I got a yeah. six-year-old and a five-year-old. Like, this is messed up what's going on right I'm now. I'm definitely taking my kids out of school if they try to push same, that vaccine on my same, kids. Same, same, same. Yeah, they made it to where 12-year-olds and up have to get it in mm. California. That's coming here Oh, next. they did that in California? Yeah. 12, 12 and up? 12 and up in California have to get the shot. And that's coming here next because we know that, like, the governors have that western pack of governors they're aligning themselves with. Right, so they yeah. all do the same thing at the same time. So what happens in California is about to happen here in Nevada here soon. Yeah. yeah. That's ridiculous. Now, just that, just the, just the view of that little kid right there, like, sitting there is like, yeah, I'm going to pump this damn COVID shot in you. Yeah. It's like, and I, I've heard these stories, of these um, side effects people have been experiencing. Yeah. And you're going to expose this to a kid. And it's funny, they, they, they even said it themselves. It's not to protect the kids, it's to protect family members. Yeah, cause but it, just because that kid gets the COVID shot doesn't mean he can't get COVID and spread it to his parents. Yeah. So why are we putting this in the kids? Yeah. They don't need it. They got the best immune system out of right. everybody. We yeah. all know that you're more likely to have adverse effects from the vaccine than if you were just to be immune and be left alone. Yeah, I just can't wrap my head around this logic. <laughs> There's no logic behind it. It's <laughs> don't make a lot of sense. It's straight oh, we're taking it. it to protect our parents, <laughs> but you can still get the shit and spread it to them. <laughs> this, is, this is freaking scary stuff here right now. You can't even. I mean, we are surrounded by dumbasses. It is. People with no damn brain whatsoever. You still can get the shit and spread it. Yeah. You can still, I can get, I can, I can I go there and get COVID shot, right? Yeah. I want to protect my family, right? Yeah. Go home and get, I can, that shit give me COVID. Go home, take it to the house well, and you give can, everybody okay. COVID. I, I don't think it actually gives you COVID. 
I can still catch COVID. You can still catch COVID. I can go to the barbecue place, go in there and get me some uh, yeah, that's the give thing. me some ribs, let's pick up COVID and take it to the house. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. They they're pushing this vaccine. Like, let's say you got a sick like uh parent. You know, a lot of people take care of their own parents. Mm-hmm. So grandma live with you. Or I'm gonna go out and get this shot for grandma. Man, you should get the shot. You can still give it if you catch COVID. And you come into contact with her, you still going to give it to her, even started. though you're vaccinated. Just because you get the vaccine, people think it's going to put a damn dome over you. It won't. Yeah. Like it's going to put you in a bubble. Like you in Israel, and, they're, and you protecting you from Hamas. Shooting them damn missiles. What they got in Australia actually works. <laughs> oh, yeah. Australia figured it out, guys. They, they really know what they're doing right now. You can grab a damn door and have COVID on your hand, even have the shot, go home and hug your mom, and you just gave it to her. It's all over. That's now. what I'm saying. People yeah. don't get that. We don't yeah. understand how biology and viruses work here. Yeah. You touch it. It attaches to stuff. I go home and I touch you. You got it. Yeah, I, I posted a video a, a while back. We could throw it up again later and post, but uh, I had a friend. He put on several masks, and he he took a, a vape pen. Yeah. And uh, the, the particles of... of of vapor and smoke is like uh, like five times bigger than bigger. actual five virus. times bigger than up to five times bigger than the virus yeah, right it's, yeah. and when you put a mask on i don't care what mask you put on it could be a medical mask a surgical mask it could be any one of those masks mm-hmm. it turns your face into a damn covid sprinkler system yep. yeah just yep. instead of just going out this way this shit's Going left, right, <laughs> up. It turns your face into a damn sprinkler. It, it turns a your COVID face. sprinkler. It turns your face into a damn COVID fan. Did you guys see you that video fanning that, that yeah. shit everywhere. Did you guys see that video of that painter that had that uh, cloth up over his oh, face yeah, yeah, and yeah. a respirator too? Right, right, so right. right. took it off, just yeah. covered in paint, just flying out of his mouth. This yeah. stuff ain't going to stop anything. Yeah. yeah. It's like people do not think, man. It's just, I don't get it, but man. Just being Believing what they see on TV, it's yeah. such brainwashing. It, honestly, it's mostly in the big cities. This is where it happens. If you look yeah. at most of the country, 38 plus states, yeah. they're aware mm-hmm. of the truth. Yeah. And I think they're trying to convince us that most people believe that is the truth. Yeah. yeah. Well, Malcolm X said it. I don't forget his quote always but I got quote. it. Yeah, you remember, man. The media is the, is the strongest organization in this country. Yeah. In, in this country. They can make the innocent look guilty and the guilty look innocent. They can, yeah. they can make false news look like... Uh, Correct news. Yeah, Correct and, news is false news. And when you turn on TV, from the moment you turn on TV, whether you're looking at CNN, MSNBC, regardless of mainstream media, they're demonizing all Republicans and conservatives. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're yeah. not wrong. They're demon people that's, that's not getting vaccinated. They do that. They demonize you because they want the rest of these idiots to call the cops and to watch you. Yeah, we're being trained just like what they did in the Nazis. They demonized yeah. Jews, yeah. and everybody their neighbors was calling the cops, or they hear they come get them. You know, They're trying to yeah. lump everybody in groups. They're trying to right. create another style of segregation. That's all this is. It's just a new style of segregation. Instead yeah. of uh, Republicans and Democrats, now it's masked, unmasked, and vaccinated, unvaccinated. Yeah, those. Uh, yeah. They said they're gonna put the little, the little, um, the little shot tents right outside the school. Mm. No kid. My kid ain't going to school there. Nah. He's gonna go online if he I can't mean, go online. But I these mean, teachers, I, I, I like, I so distrust teachers. They could take your kid and have him get the COVID shot and not even tell you. Oh man, that's I, I, I know that's. I mean, I don't know. I just don't trust people. I could see because how mm. batshit crazy they are on the left. Mm-hmm. They do that, but they do it because they thinking they doing good. Well, look at they that. don't realize what they're really. Yeah, it, that's why we study history, man. Because that that can that can happen again. Because mm-hmm. look what they did the uh, Tuskegee. Uh, what was that? Yeah, when he did it, the black people gave syphilis him syphilis. Test. They yeah, thought yeah. they thought they were doing good. <laughs> yeah, they said we're gonna put syphilis in these niggas, and yeah. we're gonna see how, see what takes place yeah. if we don't treat them. Yeah, it you was, don't see the long term. It was so they can learn how syphilis manifests in the body and what what it causes. Yeah, that's that's what their attention was. But that was evil. Yeah, very okay. evil. Of course it was. CDC Horrible. was behind that. See, and that was the centers of disease control was behind that. Oh, you mean you can't trust them? <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were our boys. I mean, our, I our, think our... you can for the most part. I don't <laughs> know. Nah, I don't trust none of them niggas. <laughs> I don't trust Falsy. I don't trust. I don't trust anybody. I don't even trust conservatives and Republicans. I don't trust anybody. Yeah. I just don't trust people. I people trust, lie all the time. I trust after I do my due diligence and yeah, research. Yeah. yeah. Man, they just tried to smear my daughter at school the other day. My daughter is very proud. She walks on the bus with no mask. The bus driver did not want him to let her on without a mask. Mm-hmm. She had to put it on, of course. And then he waited until every student got off the bus and centered her out, made her get off last, called somebody from the school to come talk to mm-hmm. her and shame her for what she just did. Yeah. Oh, my God. Freaking bus drivers. See, see, the thing is this, man. These surgical masks or masking period, 
what makes them effective when somebody's doing surgery? The, the doctors go in, they wash themselves. They don't touch anything but yeah. what's already been sterilized. Yeah. Just because you put on a mask doesn't mean you can't get COVID or it's going to protect you from COVID. Because more often than not, when you get COVID, you're going to pick it up with your hands and yeah. you're going to do this shit. Yeah. You're going to do this like, damn, my damn eyes burn. Or you're going to take your mask off. Oh, man, you didn't catch COVID today. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Face it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that damn mask protect me all day. Yeah. And oh. and if it did actually protect you, let's yeah. say all that COVID got caught on that mask, you just <laughs> threw the shit on the floor. I mean, yeah. it's just... Now it's everywhere. You just yeah. delivered COVID to your whole family. <laughs> you just oh. brought COVID to the house. <laughs> I love watching it just the lifted in the center of the room. I love watching the person at Walmart. It's got two masks on. They got the face right. shield, but they're touching the counter. They're touching the keypad. They're touching their phone. They're talking. Yeah. They're, yeah. Do you That's even realize like, what you're doing? Yeah. 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 They don't like, get it. If you breathe in air, unless you don't have an oxygen tank and you have a suit covering your whole body and you've been supplied your own oxygen that's been sterilized, if you breathe in air and you got two masks, I don't care if you got five, six, seven, eight, ten masks, it's not going to protect you from COVID. Hey, calm down. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of talking to these people, man. These people are dumb as shit. <laughs> yeah. They don't get it. I knew the mask was BS. I knew when, it was BS yeah. when... Nah, I, I really knew it was BS when they never pushed people covering their eyes with goggles. Yeah. Once I saw they was never pushing that because they knew they was going too far with the goggles, right. we could get them with the mask. Let's yeah. just go with the mask. But you catch... It, your eyes is mucous membranes just like inside your nose, inside your mouth. Mm -hmm. They've never pushed that to anyone. Yeah, hold on. You're making sense over there. We're yeah, that's how I know it's all. It's all BS. It's all about. I think it's just a power trip. That's all it is. It's is a power yeah. trip. It's I control. think it, don't let any crisis go to waste. And Democrats are very good at that. Yeah, they're never going to let go of this. Never. Yeah, and me and you was talking about this today. It's like you know, big tech, the school systems, colleges. That's all controlled by the left. That did not happen by mistake. Yeah, this was a coordinated attack over the last decades. Like what happened on January six, that was planned. Yeah, all of that. We think Democrats are stupid. I mean, the people that vote for Democrats are stupid, but these people in office, these yeah, liberals, smart. these people are very intelligent. They're, 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 they're not stupid at all. They're three, four steps ahead of Republicans. Look at all the stuff they've. Uh, been able to achieve while Republicans in office. We had the House, the Senate, we had Trump in office, and they did absolutely nothing. Yeah. You have to admit it, they're smart. I've been saying this, like the way they've been trying to implement this stuff by going mm -hmm. after businesses and making yeah. them enforce their will, it, it was mm -hmm. smart. Yeah. I hate it, but it's smart. And, and they're bringing that critical race theory in school, man. These people are like, yeah. like, they're like evil geniuses. Yeah. They're like Adolf Hitler today. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but it's smart. They're, they're censoring people if you don't like th that whole story about uh, Hunter Biden's laptop. That's been proven to be true in Twitter, Facebook. Watched all that from yeah. yeah. Oh, we was wrong, but we thought it was fake news. But yeah, it yeah. no, they knew it was. Hell. Yeah, we've all seen those videos of him. That's oh, crazy. Max, if that was Trump Jr. <laughs> We Trump Jr. Run. would not ever live that day. <laughs> <laughs> they would already have a damn miniseries on Man, Netflix. It'd be a damn movie. It'd be a damn miniseries. <laughs> I'd watch it. I would watch it too because you know it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely watch that. I always love that statement. You talk about King Biden. You yeah. Know, look at the, uh, the, you know, the quality of a man. Look at his son. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just the saying. apple don't fall too far from the tree. Is that how it goes? Yeah. That's how it go. That's how it go, huh? We used to say the rock don't fall too far. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's like, it's not the rock. <laughs> it's an apple. Smack somebody in the head, man. Right. Oh, that's what yeah, it is. So it's just crazy, man. We don't know the learn long term effects of that shot. We just came out the shot. Yeah, what they they say keep is, saying it's safe and effective. Well, show me the data. Can you show the data? It's to no everybody? data. It just came out. No, it's safe. They just I it's mean, no but data. they got to have some kind of data. Some kind of data. Let's, but they don't know the long term effects. Look, you can, unless they have a damn time machine. Yeah, you can go up and say how many people died from COVID. How many uh, people has uh, been infected by COVID? You can sell this, but you can't see how many people did not keep in a run until of the adverse effects from the shot. Right. Mm -hmm. They're not giving you the actual data. Right. That they're talking about is safe and effective. Nobody has access to that. And now yeah. you can't even talk about the adverse effects. And you, you can't, can't. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people don't even know what happened here in Las Vegas the last mm -hmm. week. They voted five to two against free speech, against uh, the vaccination stuff. So if you come out and speak about the adverse effects or the injuries associated mm -hmm. with COVID, they literally say that they can charge you for it. That was they're, voted five to two in our I'm state. I'm telling these liberal politicians, they're smart. Their constituents are just idiots. They, they will go vote. Well, YouTube directly. is stepping up too. They're going to start censoring more COVID content. I just heard that yesterday. Yeah, yeah. They took. They said they already took down a million videos. A million videos? Yeah. Yep. I heard that. They're deciding what's correct and what's not. See, that's crazy. It's very crazy. Yeah.
I mean, got, people got to be seeing this. When this stuff's getting taken down, how do yeah. not, pe- people not see what's going on here? Yeah, but people are so biased on the left, they, they think it's cool. It is, they're fighting for us. No, they're taking away everybody's right to think in the, as individuals. Be free. Yeah. yeah. It's it's such a messed up. We have a, we got a fight ahead of us, and it's man, not going to be over yeah. tomorrow. That's for damn sure. Man, yeah. I wish so, I wish Socrates is still alive. No, Socrates you know, would have ended all this. You shit. know, no, they would have killed him. They killed Socrates. He's <laughs> talking too much sense. Because this dude is speaking truth over here. We're gonna guillotine his ass. You know what I like about Socrates? <laughs> they, I think I don't know. I think they just stoned his ass. Today. <laughs> they probably stoned his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Get on the horse. Just ride over. You know what I like? What he said? He said not everybody should be able to vote. You have, to, you have to prove you have to be intelligent. You have to be up on the current events, topics of that area, yeah. and, and, and and have already did He's, your research. He said, because per democracy never works in yeah. the long run. Because, yeah, because a bunch of dumb people will come in and <laughs> yeah. vote and ruin everything. Because think about it. Most black people, I will say a majority of black people, only voted because they thought Trump was racist. Mm. That's just plain stupid. There's no evidence of that. Yeah. But a lot of black people ran to the poll on that. Yeah. Stupidity. They believe what they heard on TV, and yeah. then they took it for the truth. Yeah, doomed. A lot of people believe what AOC is saying. Oh yeah, they believe God. it. Did you hear about that dress and the company that she bought it from? No. Mm-hmm. Oh my! The company that she bought that dress from has like 14 IRS infractions. <laughs> they have um, they, they have have many cases of not paying their employees. Right. They have two cases against not being paid by their landlord. And they want she wants to talk about not taxing the rich. And this company has all these lawsuits and things against them. <laughs> yeah. Do your research. I'm like people are just so dumb. Tax the rich. If you look at a damn tax table, ta- the more money you make, the more taxes you pay. If you do get a tax credit, it's because a dem- more than likely a politician gave them that right to take that credit. Yep. And they're trying to demonize these people to the people that's on the left. They're so fucking stupid. They go out, oh, they're going to tax the rich. No, they're raising the taxes on everybody, motherfucker. <laughs> they just got your dumb ass going to the polls to vote. They taxing everybody, not just the rich. Yeah, look at your paycheck here a year from now when you all of a sudden federal taxes are twice as much. Yeah, people don't realize they pay taxes whenever <laughs> they buy something. They go to the gas pump, that paycheck. Yeah. Their yep. property taxes, the DMV. Yep. They, your whole check, you're pretty much your whole check. You don't even realize it right now that yeah. 6%, I would say around 50% of your money actually goes to taxes. That's highway robbery. Yeah, the government and the government still broke. I'm thinking they just print the damn. Money. I'm much more suitable. Don't take fifty percent of my money in the taxes and make sh- for the greater good or to take care of me or my family. I think I'm much more suitable to do what yeah, I make. Now. Yeah, yeah. Now. I want to be able to dictate what I do with my own money. Yeah. I agree with you. Have to pay some taxes. Like I say, 10, 15 percent. Anything yeah. above that is just it's just crazy. Go figure. Yeah. During the Revolutionary War, we were only being taxed like three yeah. percent. Yeah, look where it is now. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, they talk. People? They talking about they make a liberal wage. Look who's taking majority of your paycheck. Yeah, y'all the IRS. A, y'all do have a liberal wage, and y'all dumb liberal asses keep running to the polls because you think they're gonna tax the rich. No, they're gonna tax your ass. Rich people gonna make that money regardless. You the one that's gonna feel the pain. They found out the way. I mean, yeah, when you go buy a damn, a damn, a damn coffee pot and it costs thirty five dollars. <laughs> a coffee pot. <laughs> yeah, they keep. If they raise the taxes on rich people, they gonna raise all the prices up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. What you, what, you think you better me or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about how Mama used to do it. We grew up poor. We just a pot, and put some water, and put it on the stove, let it heat up, and she just throw some damn Folgers in that bit. <laughs> Thirty five dollars for that. Tax that water too. Tax that water. Tax that water. All right. So your your protest. Go ahead and give some more about your protest. Yeah. So we actually have three coming up. We have October third on Las Vegas Strip, and the seven okay. p.m. to nine p.m. starting at the Aria. Then Governor Sisolak is actually going to be at UNLV this coming Monday. Oh, that. Uh, oh man, oh, I can't. Yeah. I really can't stand that man. Oh, nobody can. He is a criminal. Dude, even looks like he's part of the mob. <laughs> like if you have a poster of a mob member, like yeah. Al Capone, put them right next to each other. Yeah. Right. That's his brother. Like you take a look at him. You like that dude shady as hell. You look at Hunter Biden. Oh man, that dude shady as hell. You just oh, yeah. tell by looking at him. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna do one for the UNLV rep members, and then uh, November first, UNLV is requiring that if you don't have the shot, you can't go to school anymore. So even online? Nope. They're they're, they're just saying you're done. <laughs> you don't have a shot. You're done. And most of these classes have to be taken in person anyway. You know, with right. yeah. professors. So they're pissed. Students are pissed. Teachers are pissed. And they're like, we need to do something. And, of course, they've aligned themselves with my group and asked for my help. Mm-hmm. So freedom of choice is definitely going to help back them. And, uh, and If people stand up like the thing, the whole thing, um, what's her name? She didn't want to sit on the back of the bus. What's her name? Uh, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. <laughs> All you got to do is say no, right? 
Yeah. How, did, how you black and you can't remember Rosa Parks? <laughs> I can't remember all them niggas. No, 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 you know why? You're a damn Uncle Tom. That's why. I, can't, I can't keep up with all these You're niggas. You're damn cool. <laughs> you got to hit when you... What makes a protest effective, you got to hit the, these companies' bottom lines. And that's what black people did back in the day. Okay, I can't sit anywhere on the bus. I won't ride the bus. Yeah. Until people wake up, like college students, uh, what, whatever. If you continue to you know, put up with the BS, stop crying. And don't go to work. Don't go to college. Put, you stand know. Fight, stand up. Yeah, it's, it's easy for you no. to say. We self-employed. <laughs> Some people, man, they can't lose a paycheck. God, man, that shut up, you coons. <laughs> I'm just saying, you have to, sometimes you have to feel the pain before anything's going to change. You feel the pain, huh? Win. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I get what you're saying. But yeah, it's, it's, it's but all wrong, though. People are afraid to lose their job. Like, yeah, yeah, like my brother, he's got a military contracting job. His nephew. Wife, and yeah. they have to get the vaccine or uh, are they fired. Oh, you know, speaking of military, uh, I actually just had a conversation with a staff sergeant in the mm. Army in Kentucky today. Mm. And she's going to go against the mandates. And she's filing lawsuits against uh, their chain of command. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't want me to say her name right now. But I, we want to give more people encouragement. Mm. That people are fighting back. And right, this right. is an active duty AGR soldier, staff mm. sergeant E6. Like, no, I'm not going to do this. Yeah. They told her that they had months to get the shot. Mm -hmm. came out with an email last night. She just sent me the email that they now have two weeks to get the shot. And she's going to refuse it. And she's speaking to lawyers and filing a lawsuit against the chain of command as well. And yeah. see, like, people are fighting back. Even military members are fighting back. Yeah. Like, I, the, the like I, hold on, let me say something. No, a thing I don't get, the, the pharmaceutical companies, they got immunity. People are dying from this. People are being harmed by this, right? But if you, how can you force something like that on somebody? Knowing that that company's got immunity and some adverse something adverse could have uh, happened to you, and it's nothing. You have no financial or legal recourse to do anything. Yeah. How can they yeah. force something like that on somebody? Yeah, and it's like that's why I say uh, how I know the vaccine is all. I'm not for it. It's because they don't push goggles and they're pushing on people who has already been. Immune. Have, they're immune to it. They had. They got the antibody. But they it's had. Gotta be There's some, no reason at all, it's, especially when you see people getting a shot and they still getting sick with COVID, still spreading, yeah. still dying from COVID. I mean, but you're gonna take somebody's livelihood away because they don't want that shot. Don't make yeah, sense. Yeah, it's about power. That's, that's why we got freedom of choice. Yeah, freedom yeah. of choice. And yeah. people got to stand up. I mean, that's why I'm doing these rallies so much and getting more and more people to grow. Some people have questioned, well, what does a rally really do? What does it really do? Well, in the moment, that day, it doesn't really do anything. But I thought, started to think about this. Americans have this, I want everything now and fast stuff. I want to go to fast food. I want it as soon as I order at the window. I want to watch a movie. I want it ordered quick. I want to order something on my Amazon. I want it here yesterday. So people want quick, quick, quick results. You know, what rallies do is they, they wake people up. They let people know they're not alone. They let people know that people are fighting back and in that moment it really does start to affect major change there can be changes that can happen that we won't even know about because of it right. and it's important not to let up you gotta let the world know people are coming out and doing yeah. something it's important it does and uh everybody can find the information regarding your protest coming up at your facebook page yeah so the biggest page i have is uh, las vegas freedom of choice but we mm -hmm. also just made a bio so that's a link bio so it's lnk.bio slash freedom of choice lv mm -hmm. everything's on there uh, i hired a social media marketing manager we have press releases we have websites we have the freedom of choice t-shirt line uh, which is actually the, the biggest lines have actually going to be launched here hopefully friday um with the next website launch too to help support the cause and keep things going forward because yeah you know we have to this is yeah. they're using money against us and it is going to take right. funding to keep the, the movement going forward it takes money i mean money runs to where without money you can't do anything yeah yeah even yeah. for white people even for white people yeah and that people all that white privilege just goes they out still, the they still need that money sorry i don't want to tell you Still need the money. Black people probably don't think so. They got white privilege. Walking ahead, give me that chicken sandwich, fries. Give me a milkshake, vanilla, of course. I don't want money. You crazy? Shit. I got white privilege. I want chocolate. What's wrong with chocolate ice cream? Yeah, I was just being racist. For some reason, <laughs> I like. You didn't pick up on that joke. I want a vanilla shake, not none of that chocolate shit. You I like vanilla. Up. How about the twist? That's why I, I was a white person acting like a racist white man. Shut up, man. You just totally <laughs> blew my joke. Goddamn Uncle Tom over here. <laughs> Totally, that, that joke just flew over your head. Didn't Say you? the joke again, man. Sometimes it yeah, takes me two times to get white people. Yeah, you, black people think white people just walk in Chick Fil A, give me a chicken sandwich, combo fries, uh, vanilla shake, none of that chocolate shit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's my joke. You <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> Do white people uh, only go to Chick-fil-A? Is that a thing? I didn't know that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, the white supremacists, that's where they go. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. That's why that damn chicken's so good. It's meant for white people. 
<laughs> the one they always closed on Sundays. Right. <laughs> yeah, you know they They did that to piss off black people. Because you know black people, they, they, they said, I'm going to go get me a chicken sandwich. Every what? <laughs> they closed? <laughs> every Man, this, is, this is some racism yeah. right here. Every Sunday, they go there every weekend. <laughs> I'm going to get this. Oh, shit, it's Sunday again. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even going to lie. They, they got me a few times. I oh, definitely got the Chick-fil-A. They got me. I was like, God damn, it's Sunday. <laughs> Hey, they got me, man. And about it, they got me about twelve times. <laughs> <laughs> that damn mouth was watering, driving over there. I can't get. I was that gonna get that chicken sandwich, that macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I said, "You damn Christians, <laughs> the hell's wrong with you people?" All this money. So insulted by a fast food chain, like you son of a bitch. What am I gonna do now? Go to Coles? Yes, yeah, so they, right. they're closed for like for, for holy reasons. Yeah, right? yeah. I think amen to that. that. Amen. 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 Yeah, amen. Amen. That. amen to that good ass chicken. Right, I ain't gonna lie and cuss the ass out for the time <laughs> for Cussing y'all out. I love that damn sandwich. Yeah, you you want to mention something else? Bro. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so crazy stuff that's going down is child protective services, right? Mm. So I went to the board meeting last week and I served them that that lawsuit for two hundred million plus those felony uh, violation counts. Yeah. There was a guy that was at the board that um, mentioned a story about how his kids actually got taken out of his home. Um, and they took him out of the home because of unsafe health conditions due to COVID. Now, something else started at the school. They, they, whatever got started, they made somebody go after him. And then they went there. They took his kids out. And they were with him for almost a week in, like, uh, whatever you call them, child protective services. Mm-hmm. Because he was providing unsafe health conditions because he was not vaccinated. Oh, and he I, didn't have COVID he, just because he wasn't vaccinated? No, he didn't have COVID. He didn't have the shots. And then they used that to, to take, take his the kids. kids. Yeah. And it's and, crazy. And COVID don't even affect kids like that. Yeah. That just it's, happened with that judge, too. There was a, a story of a woman that had the custody from her kid taken away because the judge says, you're not vaccinated and you're home. Right. Okay, we're taking away custody and giving it to your yeah. husband. So this is the kind of stuff that's happening. They're going to start right. to come after the kids next. Yeah. I mean, it's already mandated in California that 12-year-olds and up have to get the shot. So what about the parents who are going to say no? They're going to start using that stuff to go after the kids. Yeah. I'm like, I mean, God knows I want peace and love and unity and respect, but like, yeah. you want to talk about a point where things might get violent. Right. Have CPS start coming to homes and taking kids out. Yeah. Yeah. Man. That's really scary. That's it, why the, this whole shot, this whole vax, it's all about power. It's not really about, in my humble opinion, it's nothing about public safety. It's yeah. about power. It's, it's, it's all about power, especially when you see that people get the vax and they get the they get it anyway and spread the shit. You sit down with any virologist and ask him, hey, uh, you think it's a good idea to force mandates or mask? I mean, even Fauci and Joe Biden and Jen Psaki even said that they couldn't force yeah, before, federally to everybody to get a, and a they mandate. Did it, and they yeah. went ahead and did it anyway. And did it anyway. They lied. Let's go back, what, a year ago? How many times did Biden or Hillary all say, we won't make it a mandate, we won't make it a mandate, right, and yeah. flash forward a year. Pelosi, same thing. Pelosi, we will, now it's mandated, right? Yeah. They're lying through their teeth. It's on video of them saying it. Yeah. 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 But people still run and go vote for them and support them. I don't... Wake up. Time to wake up. Like, seriously. I don't even think well, people... You can't st- fix stupid. Well, they're not, they're not seeing it. Well, yes, yeah, It's I'm not on the news. It, they're not showing them that. Yeah. And if you did send on news, uh, how how often do we forget everything that some dumbass said? Well, these people are idiots. They, they ain't got much brain. Yeah, they, just, they they sit there and see on TV and demonize us and say, hey, you, you, you're you going to cause me to get COVID and die. I was like, well, if I get the vaccine, you still can get it. Yeah, yeah from they me. just don't get it. Yeah, yep. They think if you take that damn vaccine, it's a damn dome around you. They're playing to the emotions of people, especially if somebody had a family member die. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, oh, they're yeah. very emotionally involved with that. Yeah. And yeah. again, people if you, just think emotionally. If you can get to somebody emotionally, you can... You can manipulate them like a puppet. Well, this so is a fear easy. campaign. That's what they're yeah. doing. They're using fear. Yeah. It works. Emotion like Hitler works. Did. Hitler did the same thing. Yeah. Stalin did the same thing. Yeah. All the crazy dictators did the same thing. Yeah. What's that crazy dude? He wrote that damn book, Clinton's. They they loved that book. Oh, I, you talking about the book of Linsky? I, I yeah, Linsky know. Techniques? Yeah, something like that. It's, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I don't, I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of that book? I have not heard of that book. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that what you want to get in? We'll, we'll just that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, okay. yeah. We want to be people that be really aware of, like, this is the steps they're going for. So first they're yeah. going to go after your jobs. Yeah. Then they're going to go after your pensions. Yep, they're already then, going after people's you know, jobs. Then they're going to start to go after what else can they do? Okay, well, now maybe we can go after the kids because that's a route. They, yeah, oh, that's a, oh yes, that's, they are going after the kids Yeah, right that's, the, that's the ace they holding. They holding that to the end, the kids. Yeah. yeah, because they wouldn't just come out right after the bat. We're going to go after your kids. Yeah. Well, of course that would be firing people up. And I've been telling everybody what they are doing is called death by a thousand cuts. It's a Chinese torture technique. Mm-hmm. You do a little cut, 
Nothing, right? Wear him down. Cut, nothing. But yeah. a thousand cuts later, you've lost all the blood, but you didn't even notice it because it was tiny little cuts instead of one big stab. Yeah, yeah you wear him down. First you start, you lock down, so then you come back, mask, then you lock him down again, then you come back, mask, then you start forcing. Then Biden comes out with his little spill. If you got a certain amount of employees, you have to get the shot. And if you don't, you're fired. Oh, look at that fake-ass booster shot he just got on camera the other day. That was the actual set he was on. I saw the set. Yeah. Like, I saw back cameras. I mean, what's that just shows you're going to play with him. And I don't know what was in that vial. You probably got yeah, water we, for all I know. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? It's what not it's genuine. A, no. It doesn't come off genuine. Yeah. If, you was re- if I wanted to take the booster, I would be in the Oval Office. That yeah. seemed yeah. fake. Yeah. It was fake. It's especially fake. on a fake set. Pictures came out about that. Look, yeah, what was yeah. that show with Jim Carrey in it? The Truman Show? Oh, yeah. When he <laughs> That's what I got the impression of when I saw that. Yeah, that was a crazy show, too. <laughs> Talk about somebody that went crazy liberal. Oh, that dude's batshit crazy. <laughs> I kind of want to buy one of his Trump paintings, though, just saying, you know. <laughs> Have you seen them paintings he did? Yeah. God. <laughs> Talk about a disturbed individual. <laughs> <laughs> just, Bro, what happened? Dude's you funny as dumber. hell, and you just batshit crazy liberal, man. <laughs> yeah. You can't fix stupid. Like you said, mm-hmm. man, it is what it is. But that's why it's time for us to align with people who have the like-minded set that we have here. Right, right, They're right. out there. They're out there. And like, I've been just got to find them. A lot of them are scared, but once they see you out there protesting and talking about you it, it gives them the courage to come out. You have strength in numbers. Yeah. Strength in numbers. Yeah. When it's just a couple of you, like, nah, I ain't getting to that. But when it's yeah. a big crowd, it's like when you like the line. Yeah. <laughs> you follow them big herds. Them herds stay together. They don't want to yeah. be running by themselves. <laughs> that's true. And line, get your ass. Yeah. So they go over. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. You, you show, up to a, show up to a protest. There's five people there. There's a bunch of lines around them. Yeah. I ain't going in there. Yeah, yeah. Most people are. We ain't alone. We, we never have yeah. been alone. People just thought they were. Yeah. It's time to wake up, guys. Yeah. Stand up. Stand with us. Time, time to, to wake, wake up. up. Wake up. You had a twin moment. Shut up, bitch. Man. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for coming, Brandon. Yeah, and sure. uh, again, all links to his Facebook. What he's got coming up will be in the description. Yeah. 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 What is it to be American? What does it mean to be alive? What does it mean to be human? We live in the freest country in the world, but what does it mean to be free? We often associate freedom about not being enslaved, but what does it truly mean to be free? Freedom at its core definition is the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. What I've come to understand about life is freedom is about making a choice. A choice in what we choose to do with our lives and our families without someone inflicting their own will or fears upon us. The freedom of your speech, the freedom of your religion, the freedom to choose the food you want to eat, the movies you want to watch, the clothes you want to wear, and your freedom to choose what's best for your health and life. Many times in the past, we have found ourselves in positions where people of power try to enforce their will of life and their fears upon us. And yet again, we find ourselves in this position. As Americans, we will always fight for this right, against these people in power, whether they be foreign or domestic. When I look around, I don't see color or race. I don't see genders or political parties. When I look around, I see life. I see Americans. October 3rd, in the greatest city in the world, the city of Las Vegas, the people again will be seen and their voices will be heard. We will once again show the world we are not willing to just lay down and accept what they're doing to us. We will give courage to millions of more Americans to stand up. We will again show the people that they are not alone because they never were. We will again show the government where the power lies and that it lies with the people as it always has. I am asking you to stand with us. And on October 3rd, you will have your freedom of choice.